Good morning, YouTube. It's Jonathan Erzai, JI Fitness Jamie with Jamie. Jamie. Yes, sir. Yeah. We're here in LA. We're about to get this morning cardio in, and get our day going. We got a uh, workout with Mike Rashid here later on. So, man, I don't even know how to feel right now, to be honest with you. Um, we're literally going our, about our days <laughs> extremely spontaneous. There's really no plan, which is exactly how I love to do it. And we're just gonna have fun. But we have our morning cardio. I'm gonna go for a walk up, oh, excuse me. And uh, re keep reading my books. Remember, knowledge is power, guys. But you have to use knowledge for the right reasons and for the right purposes. And not just any knowledge. Use things that obviously work towards your goals in your life. Make sure you love what you do and continue to work towards that, that path. But uh, the weather is freaking amazing. You see this, I'm in a tank top. Um, it's nice and cool, not cold at all, not hot at all. That's the one beauty about LA, about California in general during the winter time. Um, I guess this is winter or fall. Actually, we're in fall, so yeah. Get our cardio in and then. That's it, relax. That's it. Like that. Let's go, baby. All right, so Jamie and I are walking down Hollywood Boulevard right now, and we were kind of discussing about just nutrition, how was he, he was able to prep uh, while traveling and eating certain foods that, you know, that typical people don't ever eat while they prep. And he had, he had someone from Muscle Tech approach him, saw one of his pictures that he was eating puff rice, steak, cottage cheese, cocoa you know, pops, cocoa pops, you know, all different kinds of things. And I mean, you guys follow my, my Instagram, you guys follow his Instagram. This dude was fucking peeled. I mean, shredded to the bone. Now I'm a bit chubbier. <laughs> And I'm sure I'll be even... Relaxation, baby. Yeah, a little bit chubby by the time we leave LA. But... Hey, it's all good. Life. We're here to enjoy our time, to enjoy the beautiful weather, the air, the, just everything, the scenery, everything about LA. This is what we're here for. We're not here to sit here and, 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 and bicker and, and get upset about things. Even though, even our night wasn't really as perfect. Guess what? We woke up this morning and we still feel damn good. But um, talk to talk to him about what you were saying to me about you know how people, you know feel they feel awkward seeing you travel and you know eating certain foods that you don't typically see others eat while they prep. Yeah, basically like you can go anywhere in the world and still enjoy your life and be able to eat meals and and do everything you want to do. You don't have to be living in a hole or living like. Uh, just in, in one room eating chicken and rice every day, all day. Like you can enjoy life a bit. Like eight weeks out, I, I went out for steak night. Um, I had steak and green beans, like going out to actually eat. Um, running up to my show. I mean, I pretty much had basically puff rice with um, whey isolate, which is an almond milk, which is pretty much essentially like, like eating cocoa pops pre and post workout. So. You, you can't be having cocoa pots pre and post workout. <laughs> I mean, all it is is organic brown rice. So yeah, I mean, it's clean as you get. But with whey isolate, almond milk, it's like eating cocoa pops. Yeah. And I and I'd see like people like, how are you eating that? Like, why are you eating basically cereal before training? But it just shows like you can still get into condition, and uh, you don't have to be so so anal about food. Like you don't have to just have the basics. Like enjoy yourself. Eat what you want to eat. Um, keep it clean and as long as you're having you know sticking to your macros and eating what you need to eat uh, you're gonna get in condition yes if everything's on point like your cardio's on point your training's on point like, it's easy man you just gotta stick to it exactly and if you notice you know his meal plan was filled with food a ton of food it wasn't you know the typical uh, chicken and veggies yeah zero carbing. you know zero carbing because you gotta understand, in order for your body to function properly, you need food. You need food, all right? This is why we have a BMR, which is called your basal metabolic rate, which is the amount of calories that your body burns at rest, meaning while you sleep. That's the minimum. That's not even including activity levels and things of that nature. So with that being said, you need food I mean, what and, you and, and balance. And that was the thing, is that we had plenty of balance you know, towards the end, I began to see that he actually focused, he actually was able to drop more body fat on a lower fat diet, which makes sense 
again, because of his family history and things of that nature, you know, it's just, you gotta take into account a lot of things for each individual. Everyone is different. I have clients that are able to get leaner on lower carbs, higher fats. Yeah, I mean, we prepped off four to 600 gram of carbs running up to the British. Yeah. Um, I think we did like the odd one or two low days, but in general, it was between 400, 600 grams of carbs a day. And like when you tell people that, like, how, how are you getting that condition on that amount of carbs? But I mean, if your body's primed and responding well, like you need that amount of food and you can still stay in condition and still get lean. Um, and we maintained it. And actually every show we came in heavier, didn't we? we yeah. We actually gained like two to three pounds each show, show and still and kept- I actually think that part of that was because of what we did post-show almost relaxed a bit for a couple of days ate kind of what i ate made sure i didn't eat too much um, it was also like a mini rebound in a way yeah, yeah. every show so i mean then do a week of uh, of dieting again and before not I, I stayed weight so what was that 10 15 pounds up yeah after two three days and then within four or five days back down to to stage weight um, and then we pretty much got heavier and harder <laughs> From then on yeah and, and needed more food exactly and then that from that point you see that we're actually growing through the prep you see that growing these are things that uh science says can't occur but yet you can actually put on muscle and drop body fat at the same time and as well like you don't need to be you can be ready like i had some a client say to me today about um oh you can only peak once for a show like, if you look at my Instagram, you'll see that I actually got bigger and harder from show to show. I wasn't, I didn't peak once and then got worse. I actually peaked once and grew. Yes. So we were actually growing. Like, you can grow and you can, uh, you don't, there's not just one peak time. Like, you can peak as many times as you want, as long as you're on point and exactly. you're consistent. You can peak multiple times. He did three shows in a matter of six weeks, all right? Three shows, and we managed to peak every single show. So, better. with that being said, it's because of a lot of things that actually I feel. You know, the ability to have a flexible diet helps with the mental aspect of it. So you're not sitting there draining and killing yourself of your own energy from that point. Because when you begin to stress on things that you have no, no control over, your body will react in a certain way. Now, we don't even know how your body's going to react, but you gotta understand that stress itself will fuck with you. Yeah, you need to relax as well, like, just trust the process and not and not um, worry too much. Like, I have people worrying too, too much about, oh, like I look better in the morning or I look better at, at night. Well, of course you're gonna look better in the morning because you've actually taken on less water on board. Like, if I, if I take a photo at night, I'm like, man, like, what's going on? But if I look wake in the morning, take my, take a photo when I've had a liter in I'm a total different physique so I think too many people relate with what they see in the mirror at that specific time with how they look 24 7 what you've got to remember is show day and and the day you actually step on stage you, you're not 10 liters up of water so you need to instead of looking at um, instead of looking in that moment remember how you how you look in the morning and how you look first thing in the morning that's how you look on stage so stop stressing because you look in a bad mirror or bad lighting uh, don't stress like relax it's just a process exactly it all comes together the key out of all of this again the key is to be stress-free guys it makes prep so much easier exactly like your life is easier bodybuilding prep is easier i mean everything in general is easier when you keep your mind free of toxic energy, of BS, Negative. negativity. Remember, like I always say, everything in life that you do needs to be in line with your happiness. As well, like you need to make sure that if there is negative energy around you, you need to cut it out, like get rid yes. of it. Like fill yourself with positive people. Yes. Uh, people who are around you support you. Like if there's anyone negative in your life stopping you from doing what you want to do, you don't need it. You don't need them. You don't need them in your life. Just like they say, we are what we eat. We are the people that we're around as well. Nutrition is not just food. Nutrition is everything that we surround ourselves with our, from our body. We have to understand that we are an energy system. We are light. So 
when you have low frequency people in your path they can bring you down they can bring you down they bring your frequency down you got to remain high you have to stay bright why do you think they call these amazing athletes superstars and the ones that end up being the greatest like michael jordan lebron james they're the greatest for a reason but anyways it's jay fitness jonathan nirazari it's jamie dirigo peace